Hello and welcome to the Long View with me, John Jordan. Today we are playing Soul King. So Soul King is a game I've done a lot of videos on. This is my fifth video of Soul King. So it's uh, a game published by Korean uh, company uh, Net Marble, uh, developed by Funny Paw, uh, which is a Korean developer, um, and it is a, a typical squad-based RPG. So we can see here. My little chap twirling his sword is my leader and there's various kind of things I can do in this hub situation kind of collecting resources and, and getting heroes and leveling up and various battles big campaign story campaign there's an arena there's a pirate's lair there's special dungeons all that kind of lots of things to do I guess but one thing um, that I'm particularly focusing on today because it's been a bit of a bugbear for a number of weeks now so I'm, I'm about to kind of where are we kind of day 45 I guess um, kind of over a month uh, I've been playing this game so in between one and two months so obviously I like it so let's go into heroes so we can see here at the top each squad uh, requires four heroes I've got a whole bunch of various heroes or various material to be used to upgrade heroes and we can see here so there's Robin working at now and she's level 100 of 100 max you can see Fox, she's level 100 of 100 max. There's Angelo, level 80 of 80. And Edward, our kind of leader, level 80 of 80. See, so the four characters I've had are all maxed out, um, which basically means I can't really progress any further in the game. You, there's bits and bobs you can do. You can add go in and add better gear. Actually, my gear philosophy is pretty rubbish. You can see here he's got some um, some four-star gear and some one-star gear, so that's pretty, pretty poor. But anyway. Um, the big thing I've been trying to do is to, once you have characters maxed out, you can then evolve them. But to evolve them, you have to basically have, let's go in here, so to evolve, you need three heroes of the same number of stars. So to evolve any character, I'm going to go, all my characters are four star. If I evolve them, they're going to go up to five star. They'll be reset to level one and then can be leveled up again. So that's very typical in RPGs. But the hassle of actually getting any four star characters has been quite difficult. So we can see here, I've got um, some four star characters that I have actually um, kind of won through. I've not spent any money, I've just progressed um, into the game and, and there's various kind of different, as we've gone through different modes you can play. Um, and some of them kind of drop different level heroes. The other thing you can see, I've got all these little guys called Ku. And they are basically uh, evolution material. So you can see I've got um, some, well you can't really see, but you can see here, oh, so this one here actually, so this Nature Q, I've got four, four stars, so I could, even though they're level one, I can actually evolve them. So they kind of, they only really exist to be evolution material, and the whole point is you get a lot of one and two star ones and you basically consume them all to level them all up. Um, so if you have four one star ones, you end up with one two star one. So you can see the progression of how much you need to level up. The other interesting thing about them, obviously different colours, there's a nature one, a dark one, a light one, a creation one, a destruction one. But if you look at my characters here to evolve them, like this, so Robin, even though I have lots of four star characters that I could seemingly could use, I can't use them because they're the wrong effectively character class. So um, again, with Fox, can't do any of that. Um, so with Angelo actually, so we can see I've got four five options that I could use for Angelo, so Angelo's a good one, um, and then for Edward I've got four, but you can see one of those, um, so one material. So this is a very kind of simple video that I've just kind of finally got to the stage I can level someone up, so um, I could level up Angelo, or I'm going to level up Edward, because Edward's like the melee character, so he's the kind of the most powerful I suppose in the ones I have, so let's evolve. Very simple, just going to select um, those characters, if I had a character that was a four star Edward, I'd kind of get a, get a skill up as well. So there's different evolutionary, uh, when you kind of evolve characters, you can, there's simple ways of doing it and there's more complex ways of doing it, and this is kind of the simplest way. Obviously going to cost me some soft currency, so that's 3,000 um, gold, I've got loads of gold, gold is not an issue at this point. So here we go, we can evolve and his vigor is going to, so vigor looks like that's going to be a kind of a power. Anyway, we can see we're going to evolve him. It'll be very exciting. Um, so he's got, so he has changed his um, 
appearance a little bit. You can't really see that. There he is. There's his character now. He's slightly harder than he was before. But he's level one. So level one of a hundred now. So we can go in, do some kind of simple stuff. So food is just something you get a lot of by playing the game. Let's just use up all that food, and that's going to take him. Food's actually quite a powerful level up. So this is going to take him from level one to level seventy-nine. So seventy-nine percent of the way to the next evolution. Obviously, the problem with the next evolution is I'm going to need a whole bunch of five-star characters, <laughs> or three five-star characters of sufficient level. So Angelo, I, oh, I can do her as well. There we go. I can do her as well. So there we go. We'll level her up. Because they, the reason I can do her is because they have different um, different evolution um, queue they could use. So there we go. So now she's level one. Well, I've got to enhance her. So I've got these other material. We can just use a bunch of them. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That's okay. Okay. So this is going to take her to level 52. So this is kind of one of these games where it generally is now happens in RPGs is anything you get through playing the game is useful. You can level anything, any no matter how small it is, you can use it to level up other things and if you get enough of them you can level up your big characters. So that's pretty interesting and that's kind of really important in the meta game um, and certainly squad based RPGs like this are all about the meta game. You pretty much auto play through. In fact even in this game you can you can infinity play, auto play stuff through. So it's kind of like a kind of crazy, you can just let it kind of go, almost like an idle game really, for as long as the battery of your device kind of works. So um, that's where we are with Sulking. So it is a, it is a really um, interesting game. I, it's not doing anything particularly particularly new, but it is, um, I just find it kind of really nice. I kind of quite like the, the art style, which is obviously important and there's a lot of meta in it so even though i've been playing for this um, period of time there's this, so there's this stuff here so um these are kind of summoning characters who would be your leaders um so other characters that I haven't got you can see here i've got for josephine so i've got eight i've got six of 80 to collect for her so it's still this massive even though i've been playing for almost you know month and a half two months there's just loads and loads of meta games still to go some of these characters just not come across you know there's a different kind of mode to kind of collect these which I've not really got into yet but you can see there's just a lot a lot a lot um, less than legendary heroes as well there's this fusion stuff I mean little, little fusion fees even if I had all the stuff I needed to, but I don't have the resources to do it you can just see you could literally be playing this game for, for years and probably would need to play this game for years to make any progress if you go into the market there's general stuff I can buy you can see here there's characters I can buy to help in this in this kind of evolution period thing evolution process but if you go to the topaz shop so you can see I can buy some high level characters here but um, I've only got 56 topaz and one of them is 40,000 so we can see again Draco he looks pretty cool isn't he um, legendary hero 40,000 rubies I have 140 174 so we can see here there is a grind, definitely. It's definitely to a degree encouraging you to spend money, um, but uh, enjoyable nevertheless. And I kind of think if people are interested in RPGs, definitely something to um, to be playing. I think there's just a lot to do. Uh, and actually, it's a really nice story mode. The story mode is actually kind of a nice thing to be playing as well. Not not Shakespeare, obviously, but um, but interesting as well, uh, nonetheless. So um, anyway, thanks for watching. So the long view is all about playing free to play mobile games for as long as possible. So certainly uh, in the case of Soul King, that's something that's working. So we'll keep uh, keep playing, keep doing videos. If that's your thing, uh, don't forget to subscribe. And we hope to see you again soon.